human eye parts and structure hi guys it's me noora with a new video this video is too helpful for plus one science students and it is a small topic in the chapter neural control and coordination today we are going to study about parts of an eye so our paired eyes are located in sockets of the skull called orbits and the adult human eyeball is nearly spherical in structure and the wall of the eyeball is composed of three layers so we are going to study about these three layers the external layers layer is composed of a dense connective tissue and is called sclera and the anterior portion of this layer is cornea next the middle layer the middle layer choroid contains many blood vessels and looks bluish in color bluish in color and the choroid layer is thin over the posterior two thirds of the eyeball but it becomes thick in the anterior part form the ciliary body ciliary body and the ciliary body itself continues forward to form a pigmented and opaque structure called the iris which is the visible colored portion of the eye next the eyeball contains a transparent crystalline lens which is held in place by ligaments attached to the ciliary body so lens in front of the lens the aperture surrounded by the iris is called pupil this is pupil and the diameter of the pupil is regulated by the muscle fibers of iris and the inner layer is called retina types of photoreceptor cells they are rod cells and cord cells rod cells and cord cells and these cells contain the light sensitive proteins called photopigments the light sensitive 
proteins called photopigments photopigments and the daylight that is photopic vision the daylight vision or which is known as photopic vision and color vision are functions of cones and the to light that is to light that is cortopic vision as a function of roots and the roots contain a purplish red protein called rhodopsin it contains a pigment a protein called rhodopsin purplish red protein or it is in visual purple which contains a derivative of vitamin a vitamin a in the human eye there are three types of cones which possess their own characteristic photopigments that respond to red green and blue lights and blue lights the sensations of different colors are produced by various combination of these cones and their photopigments when these cones are stimulated equally a sensation of white light is produced the optic nerves leave the eye leave the eye and the retinal blood vessels enter it at a point medial to and slightly above the posterior pole of the eyeball the photoreceptor cells are not present in that region and hence it is called blind spot at the posterior pole of the eye lateral to the blind spot there is a yellowish pigmented spot called macula lutea with a central pit called fovea the fovea is a thinned out portion of the retina where only the cones are densely packed It is the point where the visual acuity resolution is the greatest. Then the space between cornea and the lens is called aqueous chamber and contain a thin watery fluid called aqueous humor. The space between the lens and the retina is called the vitreous chamber and it is filled with a transparent gel called vitreous humor next we are going to study about mechanism of vision the light rays in visible wavelength focused on the retina through the cornea and lens generate potentials that is impulse in rods and cones so we can study it through a flow chart first of all the light rays it falls on cornea the anterior portion of the sclera then it passes through aqueous chamber then through pupil then through the crystalline convex lens then through the tres chamber then at last it it reaches to retina as we mentioned earlier the photosensitive compounds that is photopigments photopigments in the human eyes is composed of opsin and retinal this composed of opsin and 
பிரச்சனை ஆப்ஷன் எஸ் எ புரோட்டீன் is a protein a retinal it is an aldehyde of vitamin a light induces dissociation of retinal from opsin resulting in changes in the structure of the opsin this causes membrane permeability changes so impulses are generated in rods and cones and at last it results in the membrane permeability changes so as a result potential difference is generated generated in photo receptor cells and this produces a signal that generates action potentials in the bipolar cells so signal then action potential in bipolar cells then to ganglion cells cells this action potentials that is impulses are transmitted by the optic nerves optic nerves to the visual cortex of the brain brain so This is where the neural impulses are analyzed and the image formed on the retina is recognized based on earlier memory and experience. So, now you have an idea that how you see others, right? So, if you like this video, like, comment and subscribe for more more videos.